Good morning. Dobrý jutr. Oh, we had the amazing debate. Imeli sme sjajnú razgovor. You know, I, I love it. I svidie, to by si ako svidieť. We are not on a calendar. My nie sme na kalen- kalendáru. You know, we, don't, we don't go by law. Ne, ne chodamo od zákona. But we are flexible. Flexibility. You know, uh, if need be, you know, we, we just sit and debate because it's important. Však ako je potrebno, my sedneme i razgovaramo, yeah, nekažemo debat. Because we love one another. So, so volimo jedni drugi. And we will continue in this. I nastavit ćemo ovo. Because it's important and amazing it was. Ve- veoma važno i nevjerovatno o čemu smo pričali. And we start today's message, so let's pray. I počinjemo sa današnjim porukom i hajde da se pomolimo. So dear Jesus, dragi Isuse, Oh, as we were singing open the eyes of our heart lord no let the seed fall into into good ground in jesus name amen so today's is a special day did you know it did you know it No, we are man, we don't know that there is Mother's Day. <laughs> you know, I don't know what's wrong with man. <laughs> Maybe it's after the fall of Adam. <laughs> But, you know, it's Mother's Day, it's like, oh, <laughs> I forgot, you know. You know, imagine you get married and you have an anniversary. Možnjeni imate godišnicu. Oh, you forget, you know. I zaboravite. Oh, yeah. no. That's, no, no, you can't to, do this. To je no, no, <laughs> ne sme da se radi. Don't forget it. Nemojte zaboraviti. It's adv- advice for you man when you get married. <laughs> to je savjet za vas, monke, kada you know. se budete ženjeni. That's why it's good to have a ring and you put a date inside, so you remember it. <laughs> Zato je dobro da imate prsten, to jest burmu i na njoj datum da se setite. The problem is when you lose your ring like I did. And problem je kada izgubite burmu kao što sam ja. Then write it on your heart. Onda zapišite na tom srcu. It's even better. Još je bolje. So today is a Mother's Day. To je danas je dan majke. You know, and we will uh, honor the mothers today. I mi ćemo But listen, the message is also for man. It will be very good. You know, do not turn off your antennas. It's like all mother's message. You know, no, this is a really good word of God. So, uh, uh, Maybe today, you know, uh, many messages will be about uh, the role of a mother. Možda će mnogo danas poruka biti uh, o ulozi majke. And it's very interesting when you look into Bible. I veoma interesantno kada pogledamo u Bibliji. You know, the mothers have a have a great uh, importance in in the life of of a Bible and the church and the family and Mike ima veoma važnu ulogu u Bibliji i u crkvi i u porodici svuda. You know and uh, one of them is in Exodus chapter 2. I jedno od njih je u, u uh, izlasku uh, to jest u drugoj knjigi knjizi Mojsejevoj uh, drugoj glavi. You know, uh, before I get there did you know that in the book of Hebrews 11 pre nego što odemo tamo, da li znate možda u, u uh, Jevrejima uh, 11? It's a passage of a faith heroes. To je uh, odeljak o <coughs> herojima vere. You know, and there is a, there is a, a mention of a Moses. I tu se pominje čak i Mojsije. You know, but actually ali zapravo you know, uh, uh, the first mention of Moses is Moses parents here. A prvo, prvo, prva stvar gdje se pominje Mojsije je tu uh, zapravo nije njemu nego njegovim roditeljima. Hebrews 11:23. U 11. poglavlju 23. stihu. By faith, verom, Moses when he was born, Mojsija pošto se rodi, was hid three months of his parents. Kriše tri mjeseca roditelji njegovi. And they were not afraid of the king's commandment. Jer vidiše krasno dete i ne pobojaše se zapovesti careve. You know, this, this, this is important. 
So here in Hebrews 11 you have a parents of Moses. As a faith heroes. And in Exodus uh, chapter 1 verse 22. You know, uh, Israel is in Egypt. Israel, nacija Izrael je u Egiptu. You know, Farao is ruling. Faraon vlada nad njima. And uh, he makes this degree, this I, statement. I on zapoveda. I, Exodus 1.22 And Pharaoh charged all his people, saying, Every son that is born to Israelites, uh, you shall cast into the river, and every daughter you shall save alive. Tada zapovedi Faraon svemu narodu svojemu govoreći, svakoga sina koji se rodi bacite u vodu, a kćeri sve ostavljajte u životu. You know, Nile, River Nile, znate reku Nil, you know, deep, waves, stream, crocodiles, hippos, yeah. you know, hippopotamus is maybe even more dangerous than the crocodile for humans. And the Pharaoh said, every male that is born, every little baby, throw into the river and let it die. I faraon je rekao da svako izraelsko jevrijsko muško dete bude bačeno u Nil, da umre. But here it says, uh, verse 2, And the woman conceived and bare son, the mother of Moses. A sada u drugo pogledu je drugi stih, i ona se trudne i rodi sina. And when she saw him that he was goodly child, she hid him three months. I videći ga lepa, you know, she did not obey the commandment of the Pharaoh. This is the role of a mother. Very interesting. You know, hide your child before Pharaoh. If the government says, go and have abortion, you say no, I'm not going to throw my child into the Nile River. Ako ako vlada ili neka država kaže učinite abortus i ubite svoje dete, treba da kažete ne, neću to da uradim i da bacim svoje dete tako prenešeno u Nil. You know, because if we are true believers, jer ako smo pravi vernici, you know, we spoke about it. We have a new heart, a new mind. Govorili smo to, mi imamo novo srce, novi um. And uh, we are different than this world. We have different values. You know, we don't even have a morals, we have a spiritual uh, understanding. Which is even above, above this. You know, uh, the moral understanding you know we can see in uh, Matthew 15 and uh, we can see it here Jesus was speaking in verse 10 hear and understand yeah 15 10 and the multitude uh, came and said unto and he said unto them hear and understand not that which goes into mouth defiles a man but that which comes out of the mouth that defiles a man ne pogani čoveka što ulazi u usta nego što izlazi iz usta ono pogani čoveka because the uh, let's let's read further Verse 12, then came his disciples and said unto him, Don't you know that the Pharisees were offended after they heard your saying? I sada da pročitamo ovo dalje, u 12. stihu. Tada pristupiše učenici njegovi i rekoše mu, Znaš li da fariseji čuši tu reč, sablazniše se? You know, they were offended. Oni su se sablaznili. Because they believed in the rules, you know, not to eat pork, you know, to eat fish on Friday, fish on Friday, 
Riba na petu. That's, that's the new, new Pharisaic Aha, to law. Je, to je nova, ne, da se jede riba na petak. Yeah, that, yeah, no, to eat fish on Friday. Da se jede riba na petak. Se yeah. petak. Uh, uh, not to eat anything. Da se ne jede ništa. You know, before uh, the communion. Pre uh, pričesta. You know, and all these rules. I sva ta pravila. What do you eat, what do you don't eat, when you can eat it. Šta jedemo, šta ne smemo da jedemo, kada ne smemo da jedemo. Now these rules, like, is it going to save anybody? I sva ta pravila, da li će to da spasi nekog? That's why Jesus says, you missed the point. I zato im je Isus rekao, promašili ste svu celu pojentu. If you eat pig, ako pojedete prase, or if you eat different meat on Friday, not fish only, is it going to defile you? Ako jedete drugo meso, da nije riba na petak ili bilo koji dan taj, da li će vas to poganiti? You know, and he says verse 18, but those things which proceed out of the mouth, you know, they defile the man. A u 18. stiku Isus kaže, a što izlazi iz usta, od srca izlazi i ono pogani čovjek. You know, uh, they were even uh, attacking him that his disciples were eating with unwashed hands. Farisej su ga napadali da njegovi učenici jedu sa nečistim rukama. They will not go to heaven. Oni neće otići u raj. They did not wash their hands before the meal. Nisu oprali ruke pre jela. You know, but verse 20, these are the things which defile a man, but to eat with unwashed hands defileth not a man. Od 20. stih Isus kaže, i ovo je što pogani čoveka, a ne nečistim rukama jest i ne pogani čovjek. No, people are so perverted nowadays. Ljudi su danas mnogo izopačeni. You know, and and they want to keep some rules. I žele da drže neka pravila. You know, and they don't understand the true spiritual meaning of everything. A ne razumeju jasna duhovna značenje. This world, this government, this pharaoh will give you some rules. But we need to be spiritual to live by spirit, not by lie. Uh, did you know that uh, pharaoh's abortion, you know, forced abortion on women? nametao taj tu taj abortus možemo reći na žene i na majke. You know, it was repeated in a history of number of times. Bilo je ponavljeno nekoliko puta u istoriji. You know, uh, when, what happened when Jesus was born? Samo da se setimo šta se desilo kada se Isus rodio. What did Herodes do? Šta je Herod uradio? He sent and he said kill all the children two years and younger. On je rekao uh, idite u Vitlejem i pobijte svu decu koje, uh, svu mušku decu od dve godine na dole. It's exactly the same. Se isto kao i faraon. You know, just, just kill the little ones. Samo pobijte ove male. You know, even, uh, even uh, modern history in China, they had a one child rule. Sada i moder, moderna istorija u Kini, sada imali su jedno pravilo, uh, imali su pravilo jednog deteta. You know, if you have second child, it has to be aborted. Ako ima, ako neko dob dobije drugo dete, mora da se abortira. Or is there some godly mother which will say no? I da li će da bude tu neka bogoboja za žena? I keep my Moses. Koja će da kaže ne. I hide the child. Ja ću sakriti moje dete. Because I believe in God, not in Pharaoh. Ja verujem Bogu, a ne Faraon. This is so important. I to je veoma važno. And even worse nowadays in this modern history. Čak i teže sada, čak i gore u modernoj istoriji. You know, the Pharaoh doesn't say if you have child, you will be punished. Pharaoh ne kaže ako imate dete, vi ćete kažnjeni. The government says, well, if you have child, vlada ili Pharaoh danas kaže, you know, you will have troubles. Ako budete imali dete, imat ćete nevoj. You cannot enjoy your life. Ne možete duživati. You are too young for children. Veoma ste mladi za decu. You know, my body, my choice. Moje telo, moj izbor. You decide and you can get rid of the baby. Ti odluči i možeš da se otarasiš te bebe. And these mothers, they listen to this voice. I te majke poslušaju taj klas. What a lie. Kakva laža. You know? It's horrible what's happening. 
And that's why it's important to, uh, to have a godly mothers and godly fathers in this society. Zato je veoma potrebno da imamo bogobojazne roditelje, to jest majke i očeve u ovoj zemlji. In the first Timothy chapter 2 verse 15, u drugoj Timoteju 3, 2.15. First Timothy 2.15. It speaks about the salvation of mothers. Govori se u tom odeljku se govori o spasenju majke. How mothers can be saved. Kako majke mogu da budu spašene. And if you don't understand the thought. I ako ne razumemo ovde misao šta je. You read. You know. The woman shall be saved in childbearing. Petnaesti stih, ali će se spasti rađanjem dece. You know, and of course, this is not eternal salvation. I znamo ovde da ovo nije večno spasenje. We are saved, you know, by grace through faith. Mi smo spašeni milošću kroz veru. In the saving work of the cross of Jesus Christ. U spasonosnom delu that he died for us and rose again third day for our justification. That's how to be saved. But here it says that they will be saved in childbearing. You know, speaking, the context is speaking about deception and the role of a man and woman u kontekstu ovde šta se govori, govori se o ulozi majke i oca. She will be fulfilled and happy in childbearing. Ona će biti ispunjena i radosna u rađanju. And then it says, if they, the children, continue in faith and charity and holiness and sobriety. Ako ostane u veri, ljubavi i svetinji i spoštenji. If she teaches them. Ako ih nauči. You know, the mothers and fathers i očeg. And if you are a brother and you have younger sibling, it's the same. Teach them. You know, we know the truth. And the mother can teach the truth to its child. You know, there are only two chromosomes. X. X and XY. I mean, two combinations of two chromosomes. Two combinations, two chromosomes. You know, X, 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 Y. One is male chromosome, one is female chromosome. One is male, the other is female. There are only two sexes. Postoje samo dva pola. You know, when the baby is born. Kada se dete rodi. You know what doctors used to say? Znate šta su doktori govorili? You got the son. Dobili ste sina. You got the daughter. Dobili si čerku. Today they cannot do it. It's strange. Are we going to listen to the Pharaoh? No more. Do you have any brain up there? When the baby is born, just have one look and you can tell if it's a boy or a girl. It's very simple. We have two sexes and two genders only, nothing else. No. Even the nature teaches us this. You need a male and a female to reproduce. There's nothing in between. You know what's between? Sin. Human sin and perversion. You know what's happening in Czech Republic now? You know, have you heard about about fairies? Fairies. When you have a fur? It's a new term. You know, and the children go to school and they have this overall outfit and they dress as an animal, like a fox, for example. And they go in this outfit into school. And they say, I feel like this animal. So you have a classroom with the children and there are two fairies in the fur outfit. 
No, no, no. Uh, fur, furries. It's so like kožnatci. Uh, uh, Something like this. Ne koža. Neki kostimci. Ne znam. Yeah, kostimci. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Znam, That's how it's called in Czech. Tako se to zove u Češku. You know, and the teacher can do nothing about it because the child decided. I učitelj ili učiteljica ne može ništa da uradi po toga jer dete odlučilo. No, they should be taught what's right and wrong. Ne, valjda treba da budu naučeni šta je ispravno, šta je pogrešno. But nobody teaches them nowadays. Ali niko ih ne uči danas tome. And you know, where do we turn for help? I gde se okrećemo za pomoć? You know, we had a very good class in 1 Corinthians 6. Uh, imali smo dobar čas kada smo proučavali, proč, proučavali prvu Korinčanima 6. This is very important teaching for the church but also for our lives personally. Veoma bitno uh, učenje za crkvu ali i za naše živote lično. It starts with this. How do you dare that any of you having a matter against another go to law before the unjust and not before the saints? I započinje ovako, smeli ko od vas kad ima tužbu na drugoga ići na sud nepravednima, a ne svetima? You know, when people argue in the church, kada in se, this case, kada se uh, ljudi uh, raspravljaju u crkvi u ovom, u ovom you know, slučaju, they had argument and they said, let's go to the court, let's go to the world, let's go to Farao. Imali su neki, uh, neku raspravu i uh, odlučili su da odu, hajde da idemo na sud, and he says, why don't you go before the saints, before the congregation of believers? You know, verse 9, don't you know that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Yeah. Ili ne znate da nepravednici neće naslediti carstva Božije. Those unbelievers that you go for advice, ti nevernici kod kojih idete da dobijete savjet, they end up in hell, oni će završiti u pak. They have different morals, oni imaju drugačije morale. And yet you go there for help, i tamo idete za pomoć. This is the teaching of 1 Corinthians 6. Ovo je učenje 1. Korinčanima 6. You know, uh, where does my help come from? In Psalm 121, verse 1, Psalm 121, the psalmist says, where does my help come from? And he says, it comes from the Lord. Not from the world. From the Lord. You know, today, if you go to uh, for help to the world, you know, uh, many kids have psychological problems. You know, and, and the psychologists, they will tell them, well, you can, you can change your sex. Let's change your gender. Let's have an operation on it. That's, that's the advice that we want from the world. You know, did you know that these psychologists you know that they say that all perversions and deviations are normal? Homosexuality is normal. Pedophilia, desire to have a sex with the little children is normal. You know, uh, zoophilia, to have a sex with animals, it's a normal this is what they say. They say it's not deviation or perversion. It's not a sickness. You know, people have a freedom to have a desires fulfilled. This is where do we come for help. This is the advice that we believe. To je savjet kome mi treba da poverujemo. It's horrible, it's shocking. Užasno i šokantno. You know, how, how perverted this world is. Kako je izopačen i ovaj svet. You know, these psychologists say, children, ti neki psiholozi kažu, deco, don't submit to your parents. Ne pokoravajte se svojim roditeljima. You know, there are countries in Europe, imaju 
države u Evropi. Where parents cannot force their morals on children. Gde deca ne mogu da... Parents cannot force. Gde roditelji, pardon, ne mogu da nametnu svoje moralne standarde na decu. Because the government would take those children away from them. Zato što će im vlada i država oduzeti decu. You know, if a boy comes home and he has a long hair and he he thinks he's a lady, he's a girl. Ako dečak dođe iz škole s dugom kosom i kaže kaže ja se osjećam kao. I believe it's countries like Norwegian countries, Sweden, you know. Mislim da su to ove severne zemlje, Norveška, Svetska. You know, if you spank him and say, "Come on, get the haircut. You are a boy. You know, let's go and shoot a deer." You go to jail and he goes to special care. Ako ga udariš po guzi, što se kaže, i kažeš mu da se ošiša i hajde da idemo u lov, oni će oduzeti tebi dete, ti ideš u zatvor. You know, in Britain, you cannot spank your child. You go to jail. U Britaniji, ako udariš dete, ideš u zatvor. And I understand, there is a level, you know, they want to protect from domestic violence and so on. Ja razumem da žele da spreče to porodično nasilje. But this went too far. Ali je otišlo predaleko. You know, uh, in Czech, when you have a first grader, u Češkoj, ako imate, uh, a little child, first grader, aha, he goes to first grade. Ide u prvi razred, dete koji ide u prvi razred. You know, uh, uh, the teacher writes on the board phone number. Dete na, na, uh, učiteljica napiše na tabli uh, broj telefona. And says, children, if your parents are forcing you to do something that you do not like, i kaže deci, deco, ako vas roditelji teraju da radite nešto što vam se ne sviđa, pozovite ovaj broj. I otera ću ih u zatvor. Zato što vi imate svoje prava. Ne trebate da perete suđu kući. Ne trebate da poštujete moralne standarde svojih roditelja. To je obrazovni standard i u Evropi. There is some statue in, I believe, Switzerland. Ima neka statua u, ja mislim, Švajcarska. You know, and it's glorifying the feminism. I ona proslavlja feminizam. And the role of a woman. I ulogu žene. You know how the statue looks like? Znate kako statua izgleda? It's a bearded man. To je... Čovjek koji ima bradu. With a penis and a women's breasts. Sa penisom i ženskim dojkom. And he is breastfeeding a child. I on doj det. That's a statue for giving a glory to womanhood. To je statua koja proslavlja majčinstvo i žene. And then you read in the Old Testament... I zatim pročitati u starom zavetu. That God sent army and he said wipe them all. Da je Bog poslao armiju Izraelaca i rekao obite ih sve. Because these Gentiles are rotten and perverted and wicked. Jer su ovi pagani, to jesmo znabožci, izopačeni, zli i pokvareni. Ja. That's that's the nowadays state of of Europe and and other countries too. To je današnje stanje Evrope i zapadnog sveta. And when you have a problem, you don't go to church and ask. Kad imate problem, ne idete u crkvu da pitate. When you have a problem, you don't go to the word of God and ask. I kada imate problem, ne idete u Božju reč i zamolite. And you go to the world. Nego idete u svet. Wow. To this perverted world. That's why Paul says, "Why do you go to to these unbelievers who will end up in hell?" Zato Paolo pita Korinčane, zašto idete u svet kod nepravednika i nevernika koji će završiti u pakli? Okay, psychology is one category, but we have judges. Dobro, psihologija je jedna kategorija, ali imamo sudije, tako. Judges? Sudije? Have you ever been at the court? Jeste li ikad bili na sudu? You think you will get a righteous judgment there? Mislite da ćete tamo dobiti pravednu presudu? You know what is a, what is a, a, a punishment for rape? Znate šta je kazna za silovanje? In Czech Republic? 
u Češkoj. You know, if if somebody rapes somebody, ako ne, ako neko siluje neko. The maximum he can get is five years. Maksimum koji može dobije pet godina za to. You know, average they get like two years. Uh, prosječno dobijaju dve godine. You know, and after eight months they let them be free. A nakon osam mjeseci oni ih puste. Where is the righteousness? What about the victim? Gdje je pravda? Šta o žrtvi? How do they feel? Kako se oni osjećaju? It's horrible. Užasno. And people go to this world for justice i ljudi idu u ovaj svet po pravdu and for help i po pomoć okay okay but but let's uh, let's go to the world for help in financial dobro area nećemo možda na sud ali ajde idemo u svet uh, po pomoć za po pitanju financija you know people want to be rich ljudi žele da budu bogati you know the world is offering a lot i uh, svet nudi puno right let's read matthew 6 You know, lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust does corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Isus govori, nego sabirajte sebi blago na nebu gde ni moljac ni rđa ne kvari i gde lupeži ne potkopavaju i ne kradu. You know, and and again people go for help to the world. I ponovo ljudi idu u svet po pomoć. Not for help to God. Ne da dobiju pomoć od Boga. You know, and we know what's the world. A znate šta je svet? It says here. Kaže ovo. Moth, moth, rust and thieves. Moljac, rđa i lopovi. You know what's moth? Znate šta je. It's like you, you you have this uh, furry coat and you you put it into wardrobe. Imate krzneno odelo neko ili krzneni neki kaput koji stavite u orman. You know, and in one year you open the, the, the wardrobe and it's eaten by the moth. I nakon godinu dana otvorite uh, ormar i vidite da je pojeden od moljaca. That's horrible, right? To je užasno za ne. Uh, there's another example. Uh, rust. Ima još jedan uh, primjer. You know, you, you have something valuable. Imate nešto vredno. You know, you, you put a car into garage ubacite uh, uh, auto u garažu you know and then you open it after one year i otvorite or few neko, years nakon nekoliko godina ili godina and it's all rusty and rotten it's eaten by sve, moisture sve rđavo i i propalo i pojedeno da možemo reći od od, od, od te vlage oh, i know i know but the banks are different ja znam ali banke su drugačije when you put 1000 euros into bank kada staviš 1000 dolara you know in one year when when you open you know the screen of your bank account kada otvorite posle godinu dana uh, bankovni račun what is eaten šta, šta pojedeno the moth ate it moljac je the rust ate it rđe and the thieves took it i lopovi su uzeli you know you put your money to bank and they charge you vi stavite novac u banku i oni vas oni vam naplate for what zašto i understand they should charge you when you withdraw for example they give you some service znam da treba da vam naplate na primjer kada povučete novac to je neka usluga koju radite but if you just deposit and let it be there why do they charge you what do they charge you for kada samo ostavite kada napravite taj depozit šta šta vam naplaćuju You know, it's it has no value. Nema nikakve vrednosti. And you know how me, many people trusted the financial markets. Ne znate koliko ljudi veruje uh, financijskim uh, tim uh, market, financial market. Uh, fi, da financijskim uh, kućama. Yeah, ili, uh, whatever, yeah. Uh, the financial world. Pa financijsko svijetu, da. And and they lost everything. A sve su izgubili. You know, how many people bought the No, no, let's not get into it, you know. Something and they lost everything. You no, know, I wanted to say Bitcoin, but, but but maybe it will come back, you know, we will be rich again. <laughs> no, it just it's not it doesn't matter what it is. You know, it this is not stable. You know, many people invested and made the businesses. Mnogi ljudi uh, su uh, uložili pare i napravili neki posao. Trusting this world. I veruju ovom svetu. You know, in one moment everything can change. I u jednom momentu sve može da se promijeni. You know, uh, you know uh, Yugoslavian war came. 
ratu Jugoslavije došao. People lost businesses. Ljudi su, I mean businesses. Ljudi su izgubili poslove. They lost bread on the table. Izgubili su hleb na. In one na day they had nothing. U jednom danu nisu. All the investment. Sa, sve investicije. Everything sve, is lost. Sve izgubljeno. You know, it's horrible what can happen. Užasno je šta može da se desi. And, and the scripture teaches us trust Jesus. I pismo nas uči uz, uzdajte se u Isus. Let's trust God and not this world. Hajde da se uzdamo u Boga, ne u ovaj svet. You know, uh, again about the judges, you know. I ponovo govorimo o sudijama. <laughs> it says here 1 Corinthians 6. Opet u 1. Korinćanima 6. You know, I think again verse 9 or where is it? Ono u 9. stihu. Yeah, uh, don't be deceived, don't go into this world. Uh, ne. Don't you ne know? Se. Yeah. Yeah. Ne, ne, ne don't be deceived, these fornicators and idolaters and adulteresses, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Ne varajte se ni kurvari, ni idolopoklunici, ni preljubočinici, ni adžuvani, ni muže ložnici, ni lupeži, ni lakomci, ni pijanice, ni kavgađije, ni hajduci. Carstva Božjega neće ne slediti. I mean, you take somebody to the court, let's say, uh, and this is horrible, but man takes a wife because she was adulterous ne, before the judge. Ovu scenu, da, da muž uzme ženu i odvede na sud uh, uh, u svet. And the judge himself is adulterous. I, uh, sam je pre- he is fornicator. On je and he understands that woman more than you. I on ženu više nego tebe. That's the world. To je svet. That's how it works here. Tako ovdje. It's unbelievable. You know, uh, that's why God says, you know, seek me first. I zato, uh, nam Bog kaže, tražite mene prvo. You know, in in a, in a Mark chapter four, there is a story of Jesus on a boat. And and the disciples were there, and the storm came, and Jesus was sleeping. And in the verse of four thirty eight, it says he was in the back part of the ship sleeping on a pillow Jesus a on na krmi spavaše na uzglavlju govori se Isus and and disciples woke him up and said unto him master don't you care that we perish i probudiše ga i rekoše mu učitelju zar ti ne mariš što ginem you know sometimes we are in this storm ponekad smo mi u takvoj and we call to god you don't care that I'm dying. It's like, what? I don't care. Really, this is how you think about me? And of course, if we think he doesn't care, we go to the world. You know, people go to the world for satisfaction. And Instead of coming to Jesus for true satisfaction. And Matthew 6.33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all these things that the Gentiles desire shall be added unto you. You know, and in Luke 8 there is a woman who had the issue of blood sickness. You know, and she found Jesus. But it says at last. It says she spent all her living for doctors. Pišu pismo na kraju da je našla Isusa. Kaže da je sve, sve svoje imanje, to je sve svoj novac potrošila na doktor. And then at last she came to Jesus. I da je na kraju došla Isus. But God says Matthew 6, 33, seek first. Ali Isus kaže u Mateju 6, 33, 
Ali tražite prvo, najpre. Not last. Ne na kraj. You know, I'm just saying this that here, you know, we say we we see the help. Samo govorim to jer ovdje u pismu mi dobijamo pomoć. You know, Isaiah 31 it speaks about Israel. U Isaiji 31 piše se o Izraelu. And it says, "Woe unto those." Kaže se ja onima. You know, woe unto those who go for help to Egypt. Ja ili ja onima koji idu po pomoć u Egipt. There is no help over there. Nema pomoći tamo. You know, we come to God. Mi idemo kod Boga. You know, Psalm 31 verse one Psalm 31 prvi stih You know trust in the Lord Uzdajte se Gospoda Psalm 121 verse 1 my help comes from the Lord Psalm 121 Yeah 121 jedan kaže moja moj pom moja pomoć dolazi od Gospoda You know when we understand that this is the help Kada mi shvatimo i razumemo da da nam je ovo This is the life da je ovo život and this is the help in all areas of our life. By the way, if you want to be rich, and I'm not preaching uh, the prosperity gospel, but really, if you want to be rich, you know, let's, let's make a treasure in heaven. And by the way, Matthew 6.33 speaks about finances. You know, seek first the kingdom of God and all other things shall be added unto you. You know, don't think like, well, I have to make money and then I will come to church. You know, come to church, make money. Why not? You know, let's pray together. You know, God can bless us in these areas. You know, there is amazing verse. Uh, let me see it. It's here. Uh, Hebrews 13, verse 5. You know, uh, it says, uh, it says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Uh, be part of the verse, the end part of the verse. You know, but what's the context of this? You know, of course, the, uh, uh, read, let's read the whole verse. Let your conversation be without covetousness. Da pročitamo ceo kontekst i ceo stih. Ne budite srebroljubci. You know, and be content with such things as you have. Budite zadovoljni onim što imate. And then he says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Zatim kaže, jer on reče, neću te ostaviti, niti ću od tebe odstupiti. You know, of course the, the character of God is he will never leave us in Na, any situation. Naravno da je Boži karakter da nas nikad neće napustiti bilo koje situacije. But this one speaks about... You know, don't be covetous. Don't don't have desire for riches of others. You know, be content with what you have. I am faithful. I will not leave you. That's what he says. You know, you will see this verse being quoted many times. You know, of course God will be faithful and he will never leave you in your marriage. Of course God will be faithful and he will never leave you in your health and other, other upbringing your children. You know, in your working place. It's all true. But the real context is finances. You know, don't, let's not go to the world. You know, to, to seek the help from the world. But this is the help. Psalm 121.
Psalm 121. Where does my help come from? Odakle moja pomoć dolazi? From the Lord. Od Gospoda. You know, and let's be on our knees. I hajde budemo na našim kolenima. Let's pray. Hajde da se molimo. You know, and and God is faithful. Bog je veran. You know, in many of these things. U mnogim ovim stvarima. So, uh, uh, as we as we seek God, i dok tražimo, tragamo Boga. You know, uh, we can reflect God. Možemo da uh, You know, we can give God to children, mothers. You know, this is the Mother's Day. You know, fathers, the same, friends, let's give God to others. You know, because this world will hurt them. You know, but this world will heal them. You know, God is amazing. And you know, God help us really to seek help from you. You know, and that's the best place to be on your knees seeking for help from God, not from from the world. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen. It goes with the context. We spoke about finances, so it was a little, <laughs> our little thing.